the Halif General of Banyaka. Now, the Grand Marabou of Banyaka, Serin Said Omar Kebe, who passed away on Thursday in Senegal, has been laid to rest in the early hours of Saturday morning at his residence in Banyaka. His burial was attended by religious leaders and his talibis, among others. Monas described the late Serin Said Kebe as a pious and good Muslim leader. And let's have more details of the funeral proceedings in this report by Maria Macham. The 73-year-old Grand Marab was born in 1949 and died on 13th October 2022. His body was laid to rest in the early hours of Saturday morning around 1.30 a.m. Before his burial, Talibis, including companions in Islam, had described Serin Said Kebe as a great man of Allah who practiced the teachings of the Holy Quran and taught many people during his days on earth. One of the sympathizers described him as a man of God who has taught the Holy Quran to many people. No matter how sad this day is, we and his family can handle it because he has reminded us about death. That always comes as a surprise. But we wish that we will be here for a thousand years. The spirit that was teaching us the Holy Quran has left his body. As the Quran states, if one dies, he must be buried, and that is exactly what we did. He was a great man in Islam, and he has taught many the Holy Quran. Serin Ahmad Chongan, who came from Senegal, described the late Serin Said as a selfless individual who always supports his fellows without expecting anything in return. If I were to describe his attitude, I would say Said's attitude is that of the text in the Holy Quran because what Allah taught us in the Quran and the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is where Said stood his grounds. All he did was to teach people the Quran, its importance and guidance. He was a man full of empathy towards his fellows, whether in wealth, prayers, or other good deeds instructed by Allah and expects nothing in return. Another of his fellows said the late said Omar was a tolerant human being to all. He is an individual who is kind inside and out and was also a tolerant person towards others. What I can tell about him in general is that his attitude reflects the Holy Quran because all the good deeds Allah taught in the Quran were his way of life. The Imam Ratib of Banjul Cherno Ali Umaska said everyone should prepare for death. He said the late Said Kebe was well aware of this and was preparing for the day. The Imam Ratib prayed for his soul to rest in peace and that may Allah bless the good work he has done in Banyaka. For the past years, the late Serin Said Omar Kebe led the organization of Banyaka and Wagamo, which he started in 2007 after he moved from Wilingara Kombo to settle in Banyaka. The late Saint said Omar Kebe was laid to rest at the dara he built in Banyaka. Reporting for iAfrican News, I am Maria Macham.